starring Tommy Reddick as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Six, eight, ten, twenty, thirty. What are you two banking tycoons up to? We're getting a pair of hamsters, Mom. In a cage? A pair of what and a what? Oh, hamsters. Well, they're about so big, and they got real pretty eyes, and they're furry, and they got real cute little feet and tails. You know, Mrs. Miller, kind of like rats. Like what? They're not like that at all, Mom. Honest. Well, here's a picture of them in the 4-H news. Hamsters for fun and profit. Raise your own and sell them to your friends. Five dollars per pair. Cage included, though. See? We've been saving up for them. Oh, Jeff, I'd prefer if you didn't answer this advertisement. I just don't want any more animals around here. Now, we have quite enough as it is. Oh, Mom, just two little hamsters won't be in the way. Gee, Mrs. Miller, just think of all the animals in the zoo. That's where they belong, not here. What do you have to mention the zoo for? What's the matter with zoos? Gee, Mom, we've been planning on this for a long time. Why must it always be animals? Can't you get interested in some other thing? What's the matter, Miss Miller? Don't you like animals? Oh, now, Porky, you know it isn't bad. Oh, then let us get them. Oh, well, I suppose it's all right. Gee, Mom, you're the greatest. Yeah, you'll never regret it, Miss Miller. Oh, these are the strongest onions. Yeah, double, yeah. Well, that does it. All except the animal cage. That goes out to the Miller farm. Right. Well, I gotta go over and check some waybills. Stuff going out on the 210. Okay. When's this dry spell go to break, Mr. Cook? Well, according to the weather report, we got another week of it in front of us. Farmer sure could use some rain, though. Yeah, I reckon. Well, go on, boys. Right. Let's get that animal cage and hit the road. <laughs> Is this what's going to the Miller? Well, leave the lizard. No tag on it. Cook said animal cage, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, that's the only animal cage. What do you suppose old George Miller's going to do with a monkey? Search me. Grab a hole. Maybe he's going to try to teach him how to drive tractor. Could be. And set it down. Them things is pretty smart. Yeah. <laughs> There's nobody home. Well, what do we do? Unload it. Leave in the barn. Maybe you better write him a note. Yeah. Come on, let's get something to eat. Nobody was home, so we left the cage in the barn. Joe Pinkham. What cage? I don't know. The hamsters! They're here! Come on! What's the matter, girl? Looks like she's barking at something back there. Somebody must have made a mistake someplace. Well, I gotta go. It's so long. What's the matter with you, Porky? Can't you see he won't hurt anybody? I think he's cute. Why don't we keep him? Oh, well, you know how mad your mom got when we told her about the little hamsters. Yeah, we'd probably never be able to explain him. 
Unless we didn't tell her. Right away, anyway. Yeah, then we could keep him. We could put his cage up in the loft and he could sleep up there. Mm, it gets awful cold up there. We're used to hot climates, you know. Yeah. Wait a minute. That trunk of old clothes of mine used to be just about his size. Mm, well, you better hurry up for your gramps and mom get back from town. Yeah. Come on, fella. Get back in the cage. Come on. You ready? Yeah. He looks better in these old clothes than I used to. Gee, she doesn't look like an animal at all. <laughs> oh, look at him. <laughs> he thinks he's human. He looks awful happy. Hey, that's a good name for him, Happy. What do you think? Okay, Happy. That's his name. Happy. Come here, Happy. Come here, Happy. Come here. <laughs> Oh, he knows his name. Boy, he learns quick. Yeah. Well, that must be Mom and Gramps. Holy oh, cow, we forgot all about them. Come on. Come on. Now, we'll come back later and bring you something to eat. Yeah, even if I have to give you half of my own dinner. Come on, girl. He might get suspicious. We don't probably be in until supper. You know him when he gets working. Lassie, take this banana and give it to Happy. You understand? Give it to Happy, but don't let Gramps see it. hamsters that Porky and I sent away for? What if they didn't come? And something else came instead. Now listen here, young men. I don't know what you're trying to get at, but I want to tell you something. I let you order those hamsters against my better judgment, but there will be no more animals of any kind on this farm. We have quite enough already. Oh. May I leave the table? Are you finished eating? Stuffed. All right. Uh, could we each have another banana for dessert? Yeah, I'm starved. All right, you can both have a banana. I'd like to know what kind of monkey business is going on between the two of you. or tail out of their actions? Something's very peculiar. I ain't never seen the time yet that boys didn't act peculiar. <laughs> oh, how I forgot to give Happy some water. Jeff, is that you? Yes, Mom, it's me. Take this to Happy. Honey, what are you doing in the kitchen this time of night? You should have been asleep ages ago. Well, I was just getting a drink of water. <coughs> Good night. Pleasant dreams.
Many rich fools, I guess. finishing your breakfast? Well, I've been eating too much lately. Last night I had the worst case of indigestion I ever had in my life. I couldn't get sleep. I kept seeing that thing in the window. And what a face it had. Face? Thing in the window? Yeah. It's far as heart. Just as big as life. And it, it, it made us a noise at me, too. Well, now, isn't that strange? You know, I could have sworn I saw a face in my window, too, last night. Well, I told you that we were eating too much of that rich food. It gets you in the eyes sometimes. Can I be excused? Stay right where you are. I have a feeling something's going on around here, and I'm going to find out what. Do you remember what the thing looked like? Well, I'm, I'm afraid to say exactly, but it looked halfway between a man and, and, and my cousin Alf. Um. Something like a big monkey? Yeah, you never met my cousin Ralph, did you? Yeah. That's what it looked like. Did you see it too? I'm afraid so. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Well, you see, as I was going to say, instead of the hamsters, just oh, stay I... away from Get away from Jack. Get away from no, Wait a minute. It. What's the matter with you two? Can't you see you wouldn't hurt a fly? It's just as friendly and as tame as can be. Of all the sad, comical little faces. Well, hello. Jeff, where did he get this outfit? Don't you remember, Mom? That's my old Sunday going to church suit. Well, little man, what do you make of all of this? <laughs> Can we keep him, Mom? He likes it here. There ain't no gorilla gonna live on these premises. Gramps, he's not a gorilla. He's a little chimpanzee. <laughs> We studied all about them in natural history class. They're exactly like human beings. It's a disgrace to the human race. Now he's going right straight back where he came from. Hello, Jenny. George Miller. Ring Royal Delivery for me, will you? Mom, can't we please keep him? Oh, Jeff. You know we can't. I wish we could, too. But he'd have to go back. After all, he was sent here by mistake. Hello, who's this? Uh, cook at this end. Well, this is Miller at my end. Now listen to me. I want you to send over here and get your ape. We don't want him here. Uh, which ape you referring to? Joe or Eddie? I didn't ask him his name. Just come and get him, that's all. He's in my kitchen without his cage. Oh, that ape, uh-huh. <laughs> Had a little mix-up. Uh, won't be able to pick him up, though, until next Monday. Next Monday? What's the matter with right now? Well, I'll tell you. Today's Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday, and uh, I'm leaving here pretty soon. Must be an escaped lunatic. What did he say? How do I know what he said? I ain't no mind reader. He said he couldn't pick him up till Monday late. Well, it looks like you've got to keep the little fellow over the weekend, eh? Well, better keep him clear of me here. 
gosh, Gramps, I don't know what you have against him. Because he's a senseless creature walking around like a human, and I don't trust him. Besides, he reminds me of my cousin Al. Uh, Gramps just has some fixed ideas in his head, that's all. He's just a poor, helpless little animal. And can he help it if people look like him? <laughs> <laughs> Gramps wants you locked up while Mom and me are in town. But it'll only be a couple hours. Lassie, you stay here and keep him company. I can't take you with me to the dentist anyway. Yeah, hurry up. I'm coming. I won't be long. <laughs> Such a good boy, yes. Give it to me, Happy. Give it to me. Okay, give me the rope, Happy. That's it. That's a good boy. Give it to me, Happy. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I promised him a dozen bananas, and I'm a man of my word. Quite an experience. You're like as if you're never going to see him again. How can we? 
You heard what the man said, didn't you? They're taking him up to the zoo in Fairview. Now, that's only 100 miles away. What's to prevent us from taking a holiday and going up there twice a year? You mean it, Grant? Of course I mean it. You hear that, girl? <laughs> can I go, too? Well, if you keep your nose clean, you can. Oh, thanks, Mr. Miller. Aren't they cute? Yeah. Well, at least those won't be peeking in our windows at night. <laughs> <laughs>